Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting another landscape and for this time again I've used this Centenaire watercolor paper that I glued on top of the MDF board just to I guess prevent it from warping and I'm starting with drawing my sketch. I just drew the horizon line, one straight line, then the mountains or just a distant land a little boat and a land that is going to be in the foreground. I will be first preventing the entire paper because I do want to paint wet on wet and picking up some yellow, adding it just above my mountains or distant land and also to my sea or lake, whatever you want to make it to be. And also at the top of the sky, just doing a very, very light wash, picking up some orange and painting that in. I do want to make it look like a sunset or maybe I guess sunrise and using the colors of both of them. Just adding a little bit of that orange also to the reflection and I will be picking up just a very very tiny small circle with the paper towel. You can see it's very, very tiny, just far, far away. Mixing in a little bit of the sky blue with turquoise to paint in the sky. And I do want a quite amount of that because I do want to have quite dark value in my sky and also for my land. Mixing again same colors, this time adding a little bit of the violet and also a little bit of the dark brown. I've mixed all those colors and then prevented the paper. I did leave it to dry fully. So now I'm just again adding some water in the top part where the sky is. Just be careful when you do that, not to wipe your paint. So just do a very, very, very light touch to the paper adding that blue at the top of my sky and also going slightly into the yellow just to create a softer transition. I picked up now the paint with some violet mixed in with it to paint in just above my distant land to create that cloudy feel and you can see I'm not painting any particular complicated shapes, just adding a bit of the color. And also I've painted the land with the same color. I'll be adding some darker values on top. And again, picking up mixes of blues, sky blue and turquoise blue to paint in the top of the sky. And with the tissue paper that I've just folded to be very, very thin, I'm picking up some paint for the clouds. I don't want my clouds to be huge, so I've just folded it into almost a tiny line. And now with this detail brush, this is a pan art brush, all the materials that I've used for this painting will be listed in the description box, so you can find it there. Adding, just stopping in with the tip of my brush, adding a light pigment. I'm not using very saturated colors, so I do want them to be the same value as the sky so I'm not I don't want to paint them darker just setting a light wash of that violet mixed in with some blues to paint in the tiny clouds I left that to dry completely and now I'm waiting the part where my water is and I do want the sides to be darker central part to be quite yellow so um using again mixes of blues, this time mixed in with some brown to create the shadows and to create those darker values in my water. Again, just using this larger brush to create softer lines and then with the smaller brush I'm adding details, some waves and movement to my sea. I again left it to dry and now I've glued some tape. 
you make sure that, you, that your paper is very, very dry. And when you are gluing this tape, because it will go under your tape paint. So make sure that the paper is fully dry and your tape, well, I guess is good enough to prevent from going the, from the paint to go under it. That will happen to me. You will see that a little bit later on. So I'm just now mixing some blues and some browns and some blacks. I did want to make one land a little bit lighter and the other one a bit darker. So I've added a bit more of the brown to this mix to create, to I guess make two parts of the land. Do want to make it quite dark. Again, painting in the land that it's going to be near to us. I'm also adding some grasses and weeds. This time I'm using this Lebensohn brush that I really do like to use for very, very thin lines. To create those grasses. Also, I will be splattering a couple of splatters just to make it look like maybe there are some flowers, flowering weeds. And now that the paint is dry, I've removed the tape and you can see that it did go under. I did pick up a little bit of the paint with the clean tissue paper, but later on I will just try to soften even more. So that was actually what I was talking about. Make sure your paper is completely dry and your masking tape is well enough. So just adding a little bit of the shadows underneath the boat and a little bit of the details, maybe again some weeds in the water with this tiny, tiny brush. This is a daunting process, but it's also very, very relaxing. So just adding a bit more of the details. I do want those details to be a little bit darker near to us and lighter as we go further away. And I'm just with just the clean water softening. I guess those lines and just trying to pick up as much as I can. I couldn't pick up everything, but that's fine. I'm happy with how it looks. Adding also a couple of waves in the distance with very, very light paint, light wash of the paint. Also in the central part where the reflection is and I've added one more layer of very dark paint to my land. And with that, we are actually done <laughs> with this painting. I hope you guys enjoy this landscape also and you're going to give this a try. If you do like it, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. There are over 400 tutorials, I think, there with for the beginners and for the intermediate painters, advanced painters. So I'm sure you will find something for yourself. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.